Hello everyone. So today we begins with the effect of various drugs on frog's heart. And uh, I found that many students are confused and they are not able to identify the grafts and their specific drugs. So let me clear about this. First of all, this is the frog's normal cardiogram. Whenever you are finding this recording as a graph, this is the frog's normal cardiogram. Effect of vagus and cresset stimulation on frog's heart. So this is the RV means right vagus, left vagus and crescent stimulation. Whenever we are speaking that there is a stimulation of the vagus now or the vagus stimulation, we are going to stimulate the preganglionic fibers of parasympathetic system. This one it is the ganglion. What is ganglion? It is the collection of cell bodies of the neurons outside the central nervous system so it is the ganglion and what do you mean by nuclei it is the collection of cell bodies of the neurons inside the central nervous system so here it is the ganglion so it is the collection of cell bodies outside the central nervous system and as you already know that inside the parasympathetic nervous system the ganglia are present just near to the effector organ so whenever we are speaking vagal stimulation means we are going to stimulate the preganglionic fibers of the parasympathetic system and whenever we are going to say the crescent stimulation we are going to stimulate the postganglionic fibers of the parasympathetic system and here it is the frog's heart okay now we begins with the drugs so here we begins with the identification of the graphs with the different drugs we have four category of drugs parasympathomimetic drugs parasympatholytic drugs sympathomimetic drugs and ganglion blocker drugs so here step by step we are going to understand the effect of that drugs and how to identify the grafts so first parasympathomimetic drugs drugs which mimic the actions of parasympathetic stimulation by acting on post ganglionic receptors and these are the acetylcholine, pilocarpine, carbacol and physostigmine. So this is the graph of the parasympathomimetic drugs. Now what you observe in this graph? There is a decrease in the heart rate and force of contraction. Once we give the drug, there will be the decrease in the heart rate. So this is the normal heart rate. Once the drug has been given, the heart rate has been decreased. After the drug, both vagal and crescent stimulations are effective. After the drug, both this vagal stimulation and crescent stimulations are effective. Now what will be the inference? As the drug decreases the heart rate without producing any alteration in vagal and crescent action, so it seems to be same as parasympathetic action or parasympathetic stimulation. So the drug is parasympathomimetic. Inside the parasympathomimetic drugs, after the drugs, there is a decrease in the heart rate plus vagal stimulation is present as well crescent stimulation is present. So vagal stimulation and crescent stimulation. Collectively, these both are the parasympathetic stimulation. So it is stoppage of the heart rates or the heart occurs after the vagal stimulation and crescent stimulation. Okay. So in the parasympathomimetic drugs, after the drug has been given, there is a decrease in the heart rate as well as the vagal stimulation and crescent stimulation both are effective. And these drugs include the acetylcholine, pilocarpine, carbacol and physostigmine. Second parasympatholytic drugs. Here the important point is mimic means having the same action, lytic means having the opposite action. So parasympatholytic drugs, these drugs blocks the postganglionic receptors of parasympathetic supply to the heart and this includes the atropine, scopolamine and hyosin. So here it is the graph of parasympatholytic drugs. Now we will see what will be the effect of this parasympatholytic drugs over the frog's heart. Observation the drug causes increase in the heart rate but both vagus and crescent stimulations after the drug is not effective. Here once we given the drug there is an increase in the heart rate. This is the normal heart rate and as you are seeing that there is an increase in the heart rate. 
but the vagal stimulation and crescent stimulation both are absent now what is the inference as both vagus and crescent stimulation are ineffective after the drug it must be acting on a post ganglionic nerve endings of parasympathetic system so the drug is parasympatholytic drug so here once we given the drug after the drug if the heart rate has been increased plus vagal stimulation and crescent stimulation both are not effective so this is the parasympatholytic drugs and this includes the atropine scopolamine and hyoscine all right so third one ganglion blocker drugs drugs which can block the transmission at the ganglia are known as ganglion blocking drugs this includes the nicotine and hexamethonium so this is the graph of the ganglion blocker drugs now we will see the observation and inference observation of this graph is that the drug causes the slowing of heart initially followed by increasing heart rate and after the drug vagal stimulation is ineffective but crescent stimulation produces inhibition so this is the point where the ganglion blocker drugs is given so after the drug there is a slowing of the heart initially there is a slowing of the heart which is followed by increase in the heart rate and after the drug vagal stimulation is ineffective but the crescent stimulation produces inhibition so after the drug immediately there is slowing of the heart rate but after some time the heart rate has been increased the vagal stimulation is not effective but the crescent stimulation is effective so here the remember vagal stimulation it is the pre ganglionic fibers of the parasympathetic stimulation and crescent stimulation means post ganglionic fibers of the parasympathetic stimulation so here the vagus stimulation is not effective but the crescent stimulation is effective that means the drug must be having some of the actions over the ganglia now the inference as the pre ganglionic fibers are made ineffective by the drug but preserving the effect of post ganglionic fiber stimulation the drug must be ganglion blocking drug as i told you that the drug must be blocking the ganglia because the vagal stimulation or the pre ganglionic fibers of the parasympathetic stimulation has no effect but crescent which means the post ganglionic fibers of the parasympathetic stimulation having the effect that means the drug going to block the ganglia so this is the ganglion blocker drugs and it includes the nicotine and hexamethonium so here it is a spelling mistake please let me correct so the drug it is the nicotine and hexamethonium these are both are the ganglion blocker drugs now the last category of the drug is the sympathomimetic drug drugs which mimic the effect of stimulation of sympathetic system to the heart by acting on the post ganglionic receptors are called sympathomimetic drugs and it includes the adrenaline ephedrine and amphetamine so this is the graph of the sympathomimetic drugs now what is the observation of this graph the drug causes increase in the heart rate but the stimulation of vagus and crescent after the drug is effective so here we are giving the drug after the drug there is increase in the heart rate but vagal stimulation and crescent stimulation both are effective now what will be the inference as there is increase in the heart rate the drug could be either sympathomimetic parasympatholytic or ganglion blocker drugs both parasympatholytic and ganglion blocker drugs will alter the response of post drug vagal and crescent stimulation as you already now know that both the parasympatholytic drug and ganglion blocker drug will alter the response of post drug vagal and crescent stimulation inside the parasympatholytic drug both the vagal and crescent stimulation are not effective inside the ganglion blocker drugs vagal stimulation are not effective but the crescent stimulation is present or the effective so in both the parasympatholytic and ganglion blocker drugs will alter the response of post drug vagal and crescent stimulation 
as vagal and crescent stimulation is effective the drug is sympathomimetic we are giving the drug which increase the heart rate plus simultaneously with the action showing us the absence of the parasympathetic supply that means parasympathetic blockage is not there we are giving a drug which simply mimic the actions of the sympathetic supply that means increase in the heart rate so these drugs are known as sympathomimetic drugs and this includes the adrenaline ephedrine and amphetamine now there are four type of effect and what do you mean by this specific words inotropic effect means on the force of contraction or effect on the force of contraction chronotropic effect means effect on the heart rate dromotropic effect means effect on the conductivity bathmotropic effect means effect on the excitability of the heart inotropic means on the force of contraction chronotropic means on the heart rate dromotropic means on the conductivity and bathmotropic means on the excitability of the heart i hope via this presentation everyone understood about the different type of drugs and their actions and if you like this video please try to share with your groups